Hey y'all, it's Anime Game, and today I'm going to be reviewing episode 21 of Fruit Baskets. And I gotta say, this episode was amazing because going in, I thought this episode was going to be a simple comedy-centric episode because its premise is pretty much about this girl called M Motoko. It was essentially a Yuki Bang girl. And essentially she has herself and two friends. They want to go and observe the waves in Hanajima's house in order to find some kind of weakness against her so that then eventually they can find a way to make sure Toru doesn't get, isn't close to Yuki anymore. And then during all this I'm like, oh shit, these three girls, whoo, they really, really <laughs> don't know what they're getting themselves into. And what I like about this episode was, you see these girls all cocky, being like, like yeah, we're gonna buy a week, this is Hanajima. And then throughout this whole episode, they were just getting scared at the simplest shit. And I like how during this episode, they were imagining that Hanajima's house was like near a fucking graveyard where it's old European style, but then they actually see it's a normal house. And then when they get in there, I like how during all of this, they fucking try to find fucking weaknesses of Hanajima, but then they can't find anything! And then in a way, they find Hanajima somewhat relatable because she had read Soja mangas too, and I was like, <laughs> this is hilarious. And then parts ways in, one of the girls kind of exposes herself, saying that, we just want to find out the weak your weakness, Hanajima. And then afterwards, it ends up in a situation where the brother of Hanajima, Megumi, scares him off because he's like, I have the ability to curse people. And then he mentions those, those three names because he mentions that he can curse people as long as he knows names. And then these girls just run in like stick figure fashion. And I really love that because for one, it made me laugh. And two, it did a lot for the story standpoint because you gotta remember, in the first few episodes of Fruit Basket, some of the girls, they weren't taking kindly to Toru interacting with Yuki. And I like how this episode actually puts it into context because they explain that half of the girls in the school are actually part of this Yuki uh, fangirl club where uh, their mission is pretty much to protect them and one of the rules is to not get too close to them. And if you do, there's a punishment or they might not be punishment. And that's what I like about this episode because it puts into hilarious context why there's animosity towards Toru at the start of the season when she starts interacting with Yuki. So there was some nice role building there. And two, from a story standpoint, this episode did great because it did a lot of flashing out on Hanajima on the spin of an episode that was hilarious as hell. And I loved it for that too. And then aside from those two standpoints, what I also enjoyed about this episode was, for one, the character that we got from Hanajima because I like how she acknowledges after seeing how these girls were reacting towards the thought of Toru interacting with Yuki, Hanajima starts realizing that she shouldn't be getting jealous that Toru is spending more time with Yuki because her brother mentioned that people just have to be considerate of other people's feelings and you can see that Hanajima took that to heart and then she realized that yeah she shouldn't be jealous in that in that regard anymore and I really like that you see Hanajima actually grow and smile as an individual and that was a really beautiful sequence so that's what I thought it did amazing from the character standpoint because Hanajima she grew as a character, and we find out her weakness, which is pretty much Toru, and that was hell of adorable. So it did great from that standpoint, and it did great in giving Megumi characterization, too. Because you see him as an intelligent individual, because he made the speech where you shouldn't be overbearing on someone, because that person could start to hate you. So that was a great sequence, and it shows you Megumi, Hanajima's brother, is really smart. And two, I like how it showed he smiled, like when Hanajima's friends came over to visit, it was really adorable and all of that. I loved that. And then I like how it shows his quirky side too and near the end when he's all like, my heart beats when I'm around older women. That's hella cute. So that was also nice, showing off that even though Megumi's wise for his age, he still has certain things that give off that, yes, he is a kid personality-wise. And I love it. It's really, really cool that this series has natural characters. So that's why I thought this episode was nice. And it gave characterization to Megumi. Motoko too, where she's the over-attached type. That was just hilarious. And it's funny because if they would just 
the very least, try to talk to Yuki like a normal person. Who knows? Maybe they would be able to become friends with them instead of just wasting their time just to make being part of this fucking fangirl club. So stuff like that too is also hilarious. And that's why I felt it did great from the character standpoint. Animation and art was beautiful as always. Soundtrack was beautiful. And the voice performances were phenomenal. And that's why I'm going to rate this episode a 10 out of 10. Because I love the focus on Hanajima. And the characterization we got for her and the brother and the character development. I just thought this episode made me laugh a lot more than normal episodes. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment down your thoughts on the episode in the comments room below. Be sure to rate the video, subscribe, comment, and share it if y'all want to. And I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Alright, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.